In this video, we're going to go over the necessary evil of unit conversion, more specifically converting downs per minute or GPM to feet per second and liters per minute to meters per second. First, we have fluid flowing through a pipe at a rate of 15 downs per minute. This pipe has an inside or internal diameter of 5 inches, and we want to find the water's velocity in feet per second. So we need to convert the gallons per minute value to cubic feet per minute. This can be done by using the conversion factor 0.1337. This is just stating that for one gallon, it is equal to 0.1337 cubic feet. We get 2.0055 cubic feet per minute. Next, we must get our pipe internal diameter into a cross-sectional area that is in the units of square feet. We can divide our 5 inch diameter by 12 inches in a foot to get a diameter in feet. We can then use the area of a circle formula, which is the diameter squared divided by 4 times pi to get the internal cross-sectional area of the pipe. We get this value. For our next step, we can take the volume in cubic feet per second and divide by the cross-sectional area we just found in feet squared. This is really just finding the height of a cylinder looking at the equation. We get 14.7 feet per minute for our velocity. To get this in seconds, we divide by 60 seconds in a minute and we get 0.245 feet per second. Now let's say we want to find the volumetric flow rate in this situation. All you have to do is take the cross-sectional area times the velocity and we get the volumetric flow rate, as you can see in the bottom left corner. So for the metric process, it is basically the same except for we use the more convenient and memorable unit conversion factors for metric. I have listed the steps with examples on this slide for your reference. Pause here and take it in. Closing notes. The internal diameter of a nominal size pipe at a hardware store typically is not the actual internal diameter and will need to be looked up by an internet search or measured. There are many internet calculators that will also help you with the conversion process. Use these to check your work. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. It really helps out the channel if you do. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.